What's up everyone, Scott here, better known as Narebo, and this video is a demonstration of how I recreated the JetBlue Ribbons livery, or the Ribbons tail, I think that's the official name of it. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it's a fairly simple tail design, and spoiler alert, there is a vector version of this available out on the internet, I'm not going to link to it because I don't want any copyright issues, but... Yes, I could have taken that vector version and used it for the illustration I was creating, but you know me, <laughs> I like to create my own my own graphics, I like to do everything by myself, and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So, the ribbons design is, I, don't, I couldn't really figure out a pattern other than what you're seeing here. Uh, it's fairly simple, it's just a series of half arcs linked together, to create a very abstract ribbon shape. Uh, JetBlue is very simple with their livery designs or their tail designs, and this one was no exception. I just, I, but like I said, I couldn't really find a pattern that flowed or was completely symmetrical from one piece to the next. And I don't know if it was this graphic that I was tracing that was wrong or if they actually did that on purpose. So it's kind of hard to see as I'm doing this, but. I'm just copying and pasting the same general outline over every section of this ribbon design, but it's not matching up exactly, and I'm having to go back in and, and adjust the, the arcs and the shapes ever so slightly to get it to match that graphic. And this graphic is what I assume to be the official design. I mean, this, I believe, came from JetBlue themselves. This is what they have out there as public. Uh, it was on their website. Um, even though I told you I wasn't going to say where it came from, but <laughs> there you go. It's on their website. So, yeah, it's. I, I don't know why they did that, but no worries. Uh, I'm just in here doing my thing and, and making the adjustments necessary to, to get this looking as close as I can to the original. I think I'm getting there. It's a lot more complicated than it looks because some of these shapes are... I don't know, they're just not quite arcs. I don't, it's, it's hard to explain. I mean, they're not parts of a circle. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's too hard to explain. So what I'm gonna do once I get this completed is to paste this into my Airbus A321neo template. As you'll, uh, you'll see in a moment, uh, this is Adobe Illustrator right now that I'm working in, uh, just creating the general outlines. I'm not too worried about getting everything perfect at this point. I just want to get everything laid out so that it's matching this underlay graphic as cleanly as possible. Then I'll go in and clean up my lines and trim everything up, which is what you see me doing right now. So I've got all the shapes created and it's just a matter of making some fine tuning or some fine tuned adjustments. And again, you know, this isn't perfect. It, it, it's not, you can see here that there are some overlapping elements. Some things don't line up perfectly, but that's okay. You know, I'm not creating production quality work here. I just need a quick illustration of a JetBlue A321neo with the ribbons livery. And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's got to be close, but it just doesn't have to be perfect. And yeah, it's looking pretty good there. And I'm sure that there's a better way to do this. Uh, all you Adobe Illustrator experts out there are probably yelling at your screen right now, complaining about how I'm doing it backwards and wrong. And <laughs> but this is like how this is this is how I like to work. And you know, I got I got it done. I got all the shapes created. And um, yeah, so what you saw me do there is I just duplicated that underlay so I could have that as a reference. And now I just transformed all my outline shapes into solid fills so I could go back in and sample the colors from that reference image and get all my shapes matching those colors exactly. Just a matter of going through one by one there. And I know it looks pretty rough right now, but hang in there. It's it's going to get there. Uh, it's going to be very clear and very... Uh, very identical in a moment. It's just a matter of going through piece by piece and eliminating the pieces that I don't need and then just, you know, getting those colors all put together. And and again, you know, you can compare the two and it's just <laughs> like, Scott, what are you doing there? 
But trust me, it's going to work. I'm getting very close. I'm just trying to get a graphic that I can just copy and paste over into Adobe Photoshop. You know, it doesn't have to match the shape of the vertical stabilizer exactly because we can trim all that away in Photoshop. It's, it's not an issue. Just adding some last minute additions here, some last minute pieces. And I think I've got it all. Do I or do I not? Yes, I guess I do. So now I am in Adobe Photoshop working over top of my Airbus A321 Neo template. Uh, you can get this template over on my website, at least the, the JPEG low resolution version. There's a link for that in the description below. And I just basically copied my vector smart graphic or my the, the, the smart shape over from Adobe Illustrator into Photoshop here. And it's just a matter of scaling it up to make it look as close as I can to the reference photo that I found. And I think I found that photo over on airliners.net, or it might have been Jet Photos, because this is such a new airplane that I don't think there was one on airliners.net yet. But, uh, let's see, what am I doing, what am I doing? I think I've got it, I think that's it. And there you go, I mean, it's that simple, and I think this is one of those cases where when you first see... Uh, a graphic or a livery or a tail design and you think oh that's pretty cool that's neat and then when you start actually drawing it yourself and you start seeing all the little details and what it takes to create it and all the way that it intersects and interacts and places over top of the actual elements of the aircraft you start thinking that it looks weird and that's kind of what happened here like, because I, I had it I put it on the vertical stabilizer it matched the reference photo exactly but it just looked weird to me, but you know, that's just the way it goes. I mean, I, I did it exactly. It's an exact duplication. The colors don't match the reference photo simply because the reference photo is not accurate in terms of the colors. And I, I thought that the underlay graphic that I got from JetBlue was probably the most or the most accurate uh, color palette. So that's what I used. So yeah, the basic creation of the ribbon delivery is done. Uh, the rest of this video is just me copying elements from uh, an older JetBlue A321 illustration that I created and making it fit my A321 Neo template. Oh, I was gonna cut the video here, but I know some of you like to see this stuff. Uh, and again, I just wanna reiterate, once you get a, a large collection of illustrations created, you can use them as source files and reference files so you don't have to go back and recreate every single illustration or every single livery every single time. I mean, if it's just, in the, I mean, in the case of this JetBlue illustration, for example, there's no point in recreating the wheel because I had all of those other elements or those other livery elements created and all I really needed to do was the vertical stabilizer and that's what made it simple. So that's what this is right now. This is what you're seeing. You're just seeing me pillaging from my old illustrations and putting them onto this A321 Neo illustration or this template. And while I'm doing that, I guess now is a good time to tell you about my online video course for creating airliner art. Uh, it's, it's a doozy, and it's something that I created for people who want to get started doing airliner art but have no idea or no experience with it and how to get started. Anyway, a link for that is in the description below. Uh, you can see the, uh, the first module for free just to get a preview of what it's like, and uh, hopefully you'll find that interesting. So back to my JetBlue illustration here. I'm almost done. Uh, just hacking away. <laughs> I mean, there's no science to this. It's just, like I said, you know, I, I'm not 100% perfect when I create these illustrations. I just like to get it as close as I can. And that's it. I'm done. Now it's just a matter of duplicating it, uh, removing the landing gear from the top version so I have both side by side, and I can use this illustration for what it was I was going to be needing it for. So yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, do leave them down in the comment section below. I'm fairly responsive, as always, and I'd be happy to 
answer any questions you might have. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.